want to have. So, Andre, Marco, can you hear us? Yeah. Hello. Hello, hello. Let's see here to the camera. Fine, so here we are with our last case for today. Marco Manzi uh, is joining us here during the case, and Sven is also with us. Um, can we maybe have the patient slides? Okay, fine. So you can see here it's um, yeah, a 68 female patient, rather 46 actually, um, with um, severe ulcerations, forefoot, also the heel. She had already a torment arterectomy of the groin, angioplasty of femoropopetal area lesions, uh, actually also an amputation on the left side due to critical limp ischemia. Next, please. Um, quite some risk factors, um, diabetes, uh, renal impairment, also a little bit, not too dramatic. Uh, I think we can go directly here to the angio, which shows you, um, can we switch to the angio? Just a moment. Uh, so this is an integrated approach, actually left uh, groin is impossible to go to, but I think, Marco, you would uh, always go integrate if you do a <coughs> review, correct? Yes, of course. It's quite mandatory. Yeah. Uh, shall I hand it to you? You can um, maybe uh, go through the pictures and show what you have done so far. First, I may show here the angiography. So SFA is uh, pretty okay, not too, uh, no significant stenosis. You can see here, the anterior artery actually reaching down, uh, some high-grade stenosis at the, uh, it's still the trunk, I would say, uh, quite calcified, and then distal, the posterior is occluded, and here you can see actually anterior is, is good, forefoot, some gangrene, but uh, as I said, also heel, and uh, there's no blood reaching too. And uh, maybe you now you can uh, yes, tell us. Yes, the, the, the patient complained uh, uh, quite a lot for the uh, rest pain uh, in, the, in the foot, actually. We injected some lidocaine just to have uh, much more control uh, of, of the pain, and now the pain is uh, quite uh, completely gone. Uh, so with Andre, we decided to approach first integrally the posterior tibial artery, we had some difficulties in uh, approaching the ostium because there was, uh, there is uh, uh, a really calcified plaque uh, at the bifurcation between peroneal and posterior. Um, Sorry. After, no. okay, you, you can see there, uh, after we could enter with the one for wire, uh, it was a command uh, wire. Uh, we pre delayed uh, with a, a two millimeter yeah. balloon. Uh, shall I first show? So, this is the lateral view of the right foot. And yes. we also, next picture, just to go chronologically uh, through the pictures, is the um, a view onto the foot to yes, see the that. The anterior view. That there is a we, nice connection. You can see. The, um, the quite tight arch, but there is a communication. Uh, uh, from dorsalis pedis uh, to the lateral plantar artery, which is occluded, and uh, we can imagine some digitals, uh, are, uh, some digital arteries uh, originating uh, from from that arch. Uh, so uh, this is the pre-dilatation with a two millimeters uh, forty uh, inferior balloon uh, of the posterior tibial artery, you can see the calcium, the ext extensive calcification uh, on, the, on the posterior tibial artery. Yeah, another balloon ruptured here, but then... Yes. And we could arrive uh, with the wire down to the ankle region where we have this uh, quite typical uh, chicane. It's, uh, it's a curvature. Uh, due to the elongation of the diseased vessel and the calcification of the vessel, and to um, to cross oh, uh, this uh, area mm -hmm. could be useful to help our wire, asking the patient to lift the forefoot towards the nose, uh, <coughs> or pushing. Uh, with, uh, with the hand uh, of, uh, of a nurse, uh, the forefoot. And uh, so it was possible to arrive uh, with the wire in the lateral plantar artery, just two centimeters uh, uh, after the bifurcation with the medial. 
So we decided to, to leave uh, uh, the wire here in order to double the probabilities to cross the occlusion uh, with the anti-grade approach and the retrograde approach together. So with uh, a four French Bernstein cutter together with uh, uh, another wire, after the pre-dilatation, uh, we, uh, we went into the anterior and uh, through the, you can see here, the movement of the foot of the patient. And uh, it was possible to run into the arch uh, with the, this is uh, a common ES wire. And we arrive uh, uh, in the lateral view in this position. Then we changed into the anteroposterior view. And you can see here the uh, moment uh, in which there is the communication, exactly the communication from the dorsalis pedis into the arch, exactly in the middle of the space between the first and the second metatarsal bone. And uh, uh, we succeeded in advancing the single marker mini track balloon, uh, very short, and we changed the wire with uh, an Azaki regalia wire in order to navigate in this diseased uh, uh, arch. You can see here the several curve, and this is the communication with the lateral plantar artery. Once we are in this, uh, in this uh, uh, vessel, we can change again the projection, return in the lateral view of the foot. And you can see here the uh, Regalia 1-4 advancing in the middle of the calcium. Uh, unfortunately, the balloon was blocked uh, into, the, into the arch, so we don't have the support completely the support on this wire. But uh, despite these difficulties, we could arrive uh, uh, very, very close to the other wire. And uh, now we should be uh, with the two tip uh, almost touching themselves. So the last step, now we are going to uh, show you live. The last step is to uh, touch completely the two wires. You can see the retrograde wire uh, advancing in the middle of the calcium, and there is a, a superposition of the two wires. So we are uh, really sure to be in the same lumen. We are not uh, uh, in a subintimal space. Uh, uh, the, the, the two wires are in the same lumen, and if we could snare one of these wires, or if we could uh, use uh, as a body wire the retrograde for advancing the antegrade, uh, we could uh, finally uh, try to completely advance a balloon and. Uh, uh, reopen this uh, occluded uh, occluded artery. Uh, so now I'm trying to use the antegrade wire with the help of the body wire to advance. I don't want to push the wire. I just want to rotate the wire. I don't want to create any any flap, any dissection, so we have to be quite delicate now. Okay. Uh, Andre, if you yeah. retrieve a little bit the other one. Yes. Maybe. Okay, Just retrieve. Moment. Okay. Yes, retrieve, retrieve. We should be able to reach the, the arch. Like this? Tip to tip or even tip more? Tip to tip. Okay. Try to tip to tip. Okay. Ah. Shall I? <laughs> Would it be helpful now to advance maybe a microcatheter over the integrate wire to get more stabilization? Uh, yes, uh, we 
this is a, a planter. Okay. Yes. Yes. This is due to to the problem in advancing the the uh, anti-grade balloon, uh, or, or better, the retrograde balloon through the arch. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, Sorry. we could try to invert the balloon. So, um, yeah. pass the balloon on the posterior, leaving the wire there, and trying to reverse the manipulation. Yeah. Yes. That okay. Let's so I go. take this balloon out. Yes. So this you balloon hold out and on the you other hold the wire. wire. And Do you have some question about this um, strategy? No, I think it was very interesting to see. Yeah, so basically, the retrograde wire uh, helped you by using it as a body wire to to straighten here the the vessel segment a little bit more and. Uh, reduce somehow the friction on the anti-grade wire. Is that correctly understood? Yeah, in this condition, uh, we could consider this philosophy. Of course, uh, um, if we, uh, mm -hmm. if we, if we were, were in different uh, planes, so a dissection from anti-grade or a dissection from greater grade, if you have the bilateral approach, you may improve uh, strongly the capabilities uh, and the possibilities to achieve a re-enter yeah. uh, compared to the anti-grade or retrograde alone approach. So would you uh, ever... So that's why it's always... Uh, would you ever inflate uh, the balloon in the arch uh, in case it gets stuck, like in this case, to uh, enable advancing it? Or is that something that uh, you wouldn't do? The problem is this arch is open, uh, very tight, diseased, but still working. So uh, if we mm, avoid to uh, inflate the balloon uh, in this condition, it's better. Yeah. Um, of course, uh, if it's impossible, uh, we could even think to uh, prudently uh, inflate uh, a balloon, uh, uh, maybe a prolonged inflation, uh, nominal pressure, um, in order to avoid any complication, any, any dissection in an open arch. You can see how difficult is the advance, yeah. uh, the, 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 the cut there. Um, we could even think to inflate here, uh, so in the posterior area, which is uh, an occluded vessel, so we don't have any, uh, any risk at all. Uh, Andre, connected. Noch nicht, leider, aber bald. Any questions from the... Yeah, yeah. so this is a 1.5, 20 millimeter balloon. Okay, so... Um, Marco, is there, is there a role mm -hmm. for a micro catheter uh, instead of the uh, balloon catheter to help guiding uh, the wire through the plantar arch, or is the, the small balloon the best uh, support? Yes, uh, we are. Okay. We tested uh, with um, good results the um, one for Tokai micro cutter. Um, is uh, really efficient uh, in supporting and in advancing. Um, it's a Japanese uh, microcaster, and uh, I learned I learned the use of this cutter from Sapporo experience, and you know. Yeah, a lot of these things. Urasawa is a great. Great master. Okay, now we could try to advance again the uh, once we remove the, a little bit of friction, but it's in fact again. Yeah. <coughs> huh. yeah. 
Non, on va attendre. There is a black here. Yeah. That looks uh, better. Maybe. Shall I? Maybe. Pull on the other uh, way. No. Which company is, is, this, uh, is this balloon? Yes, the difference is uh, in uh, retrograde, uh, we have the regalia. So uh, it's uh, really capable of navigation. Antigradely, we have uh, the Commander ES, uh, which is uh, really more aggressive, maybe too much aggressive in this case. But, uh, okay, we can mm. inject some uh, contrast medium uh, through the balloon, just to have uh, a look. So, Marco, the question was, With uh, a very small ceiling. Uh, which, uh, which type of balloon you are actually using? What, which brand is that? Uh, this balloon is an, an Abbott mini track, 1.5 uh, to uh, 20 millimeters <coughs> balloon over the wire. Oh, sorry. Okay. Ah. Oh, it's not centered. Yes, there is a, a really, really tight uh, stenosis there. We could... Um, we can have another regalia. Or? Ah, maybe. Yeah. Come on, regalia. It remains the problem to advance the balloon because uh, uh, we have we had uh, the command ES, which uh, has a good support for the balloon advancement. Uh, and regalia wire is not the same uh, support. But so just, uh, just for the <coughs> understanding to, of the uh, just for the understanding of the audience, if you if it would have been feasible, you would have liked to cross the plantar arch and uh, pull the wires through, so that you would have a much more stable. Uh, access uh, uh, support for advancing yes. the balloons. You could even pull through the balloon if, uh, um, but since yes. that didn't work, so you are still struggling a bit here to make uh, progress uh, with the integrate wire and specifically the balloon. Okay. Actually, um, Dirk, I yes, of course. <coughs> uh, it's, um, if it, w when possible, if you, if you can snare the wire into the other, the opposite gutter, uh, of course, in increases the the um, possibility to be successful. Have you seen the difference with the new yes. wire, with the regalia wire? It was uh, quite easy to which, cross. Which, the, which type of wire was this? The last plug. It's a, re a regalia excess, I okay. think. Yeah, regalia uh, wire with a very low tip load, one gram. Azahi wire, it's a, yeah, very nice for this torturous anatomy. Okay. The regalia has a, a non-tapered tip, right? It's 014 all the way smile. to the end. Okay, we try to advance the balloon. Yeah, maybe take a new balloon, what do you think? <laughs> huh? Okay, we could yeah. try. We can yes. take, uh, also start with a 1.2 millimeter uh -huh. balloon. Um, 1.2 mini track. So, Andre, uh, Marco, I think, uh, yeah. again, here, I think it might make sense to put you a little bit on the side screen. Uh, we can still watch the wire tips quite reasonably, and I think we have a couple of lectures to do, uh, and then we have time okay. maybe to, yeah. to, to see uh, your progress. Is that okay? Yeah, yes, sure, of course. of course. Okay, so then um, let's do that. If we can put this okay. on the side okay. screen, and maybe I can have my... Well, thank you very much, Stephen. Um, we go quickly back to Leipzig. Okay, we're live. 
Okay, that's it. So, Andre. Want to do some comments? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we're still struggling. Shall we go back a little bit uh, with the pictures, Marco? Yes, uh, we, we are fighting really with the, with the very tight um, plaque uh, in the lateral plantar. Uh, we couldn't uh, succeed in cross with the balloon. Now we have uh, a, a new command ES uh, uh, in, the, in the lateral plantar in order to improve the pushability of the balloon. But as you can see, um, the navigation, uh, the capability navigation of this wire is, uh, uh, is inferior compared to the regalia. Uh, we now, we will try to inflate uh, one more time the balloon. In the meanwhile, we had um, already dilated all the posterior and the lateral plantar up to this point with the two millimeters balloon amphirion. Uh, we, we thought that uh, removing the friction, we could advance the balloon, but uh, everything was uh, unuseful. Now we are inflating again the balloon, the 1.5 balloon. And then we will check the flow because uh, there is a, for sure a residual stenosis for the calcified plaque uh, in the distal lateral plantar, but it's impossible to advance the balloon. I don't know. We, we thought that we could snare the wire and pull the system wire and balloon, but it's a little bit too much aggressive, I think. Oh, it's uh, impossible. Okay, try. Okay. Any suggestions from the audience? <laughs> Steven? Marco, it's, uh, it's, is, is there a possibility to, I know it sounds crazy, but is there a possibility to pierce the lateral plantar artery? <laughs> I, I don't know, I've never uh, tried it. The, the, <laughs> la, the lateral plantar artery is very difficult to be reached uh, in that yeah. point because the, the thickness uh, uh, of the plantar uh, aponeuroma is, uh, is quite tough. No, the other solution, uh, as I as I told to to Andre, should be to in this case uh, now we have the wire uh, in the arch. When we had the wire in the pedal artery, another solution would be to stick integratedly the dorsalis pedis and uh, snare the wire into the needle externalize the, the posterior wire and pull in the balloon together with the wire. Uh, it's an extreme solution, I think, for the clinical situation of this patient. I think uh, we opened up the posterior. Why not uh, do an angio and see whether we have a good okay. flow now into the heel area? Yes. So if you hold uh, also the other wire, let's try to see what we have gained. Mm. If you hold also the anterior wire. Yeah, okay, now okay. we check. Just a moment. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Oops. Yeah, fair, nice, fair, fair, stop. <laughs> she doesn't speak Italian, but <laughs> and she understood. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so crude in the other one. Yeah, yeah. 
Another injection here, or do you okay. think? I think we have to remove the wire. We may have to remove the wire just a moment. Yes, the wire is occluded. Okay. So, uh, Andre, I think, uh, Marco, I think okay, we have try to. Try now. Yeah. Do you want to do it one more? Okay. Try now. Yeah, one more yeah. injection without wire. So maybe the flow is better if the wire is out. Okay, we maybe also give after give, yeah, it's better after giving some nitrate. Maybe better. Well, there is a channel. It's no better, question. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, really. A matter of yeah. opening this. There is a channel, but no more than a channel. Yeah. Well, uh, guys, I think I'll, we leave you alone. We are, I'm sure we still find a solution. Uh, Marco, you are known for these. Okay. I, in, you know, on the tennis court, I would say best of five matches, yeah? So, which just t can take a few hours. <laughs> uh, so, good luck. Uh, anyway, it was a very nice demonstration <laughs> on uh, wire techniques uh, below the knee. Okay. And, uh, Thank you very much, and I think this concludes the session. And uh, by the way, I, it's also the last, last transmission from Leipzig, so uh, I think I would like to thank the whole team uh, uh, very much for preparing these cases. I think they were all very well perceived here. Thank Thanks for the great support and to everybody.